November is Stewardship Month. Each week in November, there will be a reflection from one of our multi-generational families, and our theme for the Stewardship Month is the same as our 200th anniversary theme, which is continuing the journey. This morning, Ruth Webb Kelly will share about her views on stewardship. I want to tell you a little story about my Aunt Pansy. She was mean. <laughs> she was a, a single professional woman who lived in Washington, D.C., so we didn't see her very often. But when she came to visit, she was critical from the moment she walked in the door till the moment she left. She criticized everybody in my family. My parents died when I was a young adult, and so I didn't keep up with Aunt Pansy all that closely. One day, uh, my sister, who lives in Indianapolis, went to Washington on business, and she went to see Aunt Pansy. And she called me immediately, and she said, Ruth, we got to do something. She said, Aunt Pansy has dementia. Uh, the mail is piling up. She has no food in her apartment. Her neighbors are worried about her wandering off, getting lost, and getting hurt. So she loaded her up on a plane and brought her to me. <laughs> so we found a, a nursing home here in Lexington for Aunt Pansy, and every Sunday I would go and pick her up and bring her to church. And uh, the staff there was great. They would get her all dressed up in her little uh, skirt and sweater, her cardigan sweater and her pearls. And she had this pocketbook she carried on her arm. It was one of those square vinyl pocketbooks with the little snap top, you know, and the little short handle on it. So uh, she would get in the car, and of course she didn't have a clue who I was. And uh, she'd say, where are we going? I said, we're going to church, Aunt Pansy. And she'd say, what church? And I said, Second Presbyterian. Oh, I'm so glad we're Presbyterians, she'd say. <laughs> because she grew up in the Presbyterian church and she used to play the organ. So we would come to second service and we'd sit up right, right up front so she could hear well. And, um, and she had a grand time. And when we sang songs that she knew, she would belt them out. So one day, um, I was at that time I was serving on the board of deacons and I had to go serve communion. I hadn't thought about it ahead of time. I hadn't really prepared her for it, but she was sitting next to Joe Hepburn so I knew it would be okay. So I was in the back of the church, you know, and I was kind of keeping an eye on Aunt Pansy. Well, they passed the, the plate by Aunt Pansy, which had the big hunk of bread on it. Well, don't you know, she opened that little pocketbook, dumped the bread right in it, <laughs> snapped it shut, and gave the empty plate to Joe. Well, afterwards, I checked her pocketbook, and it was full of biscuits. <laughs> She was collecting bread. But the point of my story is that I wasn't embarrassed to bring Aunt Pansy to church because we are a welcoming community of Christians and we understand that while we're all created in God's image, we are all cracked vessels. So my wish for this church going forward for the next 200 years is that we will not only be welcoming, but we will be more loving of people who are different from us. I want us to embrace people who are from different countries, different races, different physical and mental abilities, um, different gender identities. When we share our spiritual journey with people who are different from us, we are all better for it. Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. That means that you are no more worthy of God's love than anybody else. And that's not easy. It's just not easy being a Christian. But we need to open our arms wide and it, we all be better for it. So that's my wish for the church.